Um, so, so basically, uh, we are a social impact enterprise uh, trying to reskill refugees into digital professionals, right? Um, with a very sharp focus on delivering key job roles like sales, like marketing, like recruitment, like fundraising for startups, right? So we just don't issue certificates, but we make them professionals to do one job or a bunch of jobs, right? So the, the stress is on the job that they will do and not on the skill that they will learn, right? It's a really important you know, differentiation. So the way we learn is not through certificates. The way we learn is by actually doing the job, actually doing selling, actually doing marketing, right? And when you do that, you, know, you, you automatically learn the skills that are needed to do it for your own client. And the other thing that we do is we do it for individuals. You know, for example, a, a single individual can hire us. You don't need to be a company to hire us. A startup can hire us. A, a large enterprise can hire us, right? So we are just open for anybody, anybody uh, who wants to try us out for any of these, uh, you know, jobs. We are open to, you know, uh, work with them. Now, our um, vision is that, you know, there are nearly 80 million refugees who do not have access to education and opportunity, right? And our vision is to reskill these refugees into the world's largest digital workforce because there are 80 million of them actually, right? Uh, and, and by doing what? By at least having 1 million of them over the next 10 years reskilled and employed. That's our, uh, you know, mission for the next 10 years. It all started when Mohammed um, was in, uh, was, uh, he was asked a question by Satya, uh, who was sitting next to him, like, you know, if Mohammed, you keep saying that, you know, you don't want handouts, you don't want this, you don't want that. So what do you want? There are like a thousand leaders sitting right here in front of you. What do you want? You know, so and Mohammed answered with really a simple sentence, right? He said, you know, get me a marketable skill. This is almost like, you know, the uh, you know, teach me how to fish kind of a story, right? But, but the way he said it was beautiful. Give me one marketable skill and then connect me with global opportunities. And then I will, I will figure my own uh, way and I will gain my own dignity. I do not want people to sending me money, nor do I want their charity, nor do I want someone else's empathy. I am, and this is not just for me, but for the 185,000 refugees who are stuck along with me, uh, in the in in that one camp that in, you know he actually came from, so that was the trigger. Um, you know, so I was in this meeting and I really you know got uh, spoofed. You know, after uh, he finished his uh, um, speech, uh, I uh, immediately uh, got out of that uh, conference. I called uh, the the UNHCR leaders who were running the uh, Kakuma refugee camp in Kenya. I pitched the idea of reskilling and employing refugees. Uh, they loved it uh, only because of that same last mile thing. They were very open with me. The last mile is a real problem. And together with them, we decided that we will reskill them as digital professionals uh, with a special focus on social media. Why social media is also a very interesting, uh, you know, uh, serendipitous thing. Uh, we figured out that nearly the camp, you know, do not have running electricity, right? They do not have, most of them don't have laptops. But we figured out that 60% of the camp had smartphones and most of them are using it for social media. I mean, this should not come as a shocker to most of you, right? So even inside the camp, there are nearly 60% had access to uh, a smartphone and they had access to, you know, uh, and they were really using it for social media. So all we had to do was to turn them from consuming social media to actually you know, producing social media. I hope you see the difference. So once you move from a consumer to a pro producer, you automatically you know, can start earning money. We designed and uh, executed a step-by-step -step training program because uh, it's, it's really important that uh, uh, we don't tell them to go and get five more certifications because that's what you know, other people did. Um, our training program that you see right now in front of you helps onboard them first, onboard as in like, you know, bring them to the table. Then it helps to train them. Then it helps the refugees to find their first job all by themselves. So what we did, we simply broke down 
around 200 things that they have to do. It's almost like recipe, you know, you need to, you need to have a, a, a big recipe to cook a huge meal, right? So this is the recipe that they need to do in order to get their first job, right? For that to happen, they need to come on board, they need to learn a few things, and then they need to get their first job. So what I did, I, you know, just put it as uh, simple things that they need to click and do, click and do, click and do, right? That's it. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are, In this entire, let's say 100 plus steps, there is no place where I ask them to go and get some certificate for you know one month. No, everything is less than 60 minutes or 90 minutes. Every every step that is over here. But we also uh, did one more thing. We tried to find out what are the tools that are being used by the top design agencies um, in London so that we can teach them some of these tools so that when they deliver some outcome, uh, it is really professional. So for example, when we create videos for our client, we use Lumen5. We use uh, Canva for you know most of our social media post. So learning tools is one thing, right? But how do you put them all together to create an outcome? Because everyone wants an outcome. Nobody wants a work or a worker or a skill. You know, these days uh, many clients ask me, "Oh, how many hours will they work?" And then I ask them back, "That's not uh, the right question. Ask me." what outcome would you like them to produce? So then the conversation goes from how many hours, do they have electricity, do they have laptop, to what outcome does a client need and how much of it can I produce, right? And what we do is we use these seven steps that I've listed over here to deliver all our outcomes. So if you look at the first three steps, right? It's basically understanding what the client want framing their uh, objective into a story, creating that story into a video. So the first three steps is basically taking the message from a client and, and making a video out of it. That's all it is. The first three steps is this. The fourth step is, what does our client want to do with that video? Who does he want that video to be seen or, her, or their product to be you know, seen? Let's say uh, we work for a teacher you know, who wants uh, you know, her product to be seen by students. Uh, in Australia, and uh, we work for a, you know we work for a number of people who know who have an idea, and they need to put that in front of the right target audience. So we also in step four, which is a science, uh, you know the first three steps is a little bit artistic, the fourth one is a little bit you know scientific. You know you, we go and we identify the exact number of people who needs to be shown this video, who we call the target audience. Step five, six, and seven is basically a very simple thing. <laughs> Whoever connects back with us, we talk to them, we engage in a conversation, and we try to close the sale that you know happens. Or this is the simple thing that we do at Step Up Dot One, whether it is marketing, whether it is selling, whether it is recruiting, whether it is fundraising, we do the same seven steps. I think it's really so. This is the beating heart of Step Up Dot Seven. In fact, the same seven steps is what people learn in those two hundred steps. Because you know, if I tell them to do these seven steps, nobody will know how to do each. But instead, I break one into 25, and they will know how to do each one of them, right? So for example, uh, step three, convert the story into a video, is actually around 20, 25 steps. It's not one, right? So that's what we do. And, with, and then this is quick uh, you know, uh, history. We started, uh, you know, so Mohammed was there in Davos in January 2019. We started with five refugees. These are the ones who were given to me at that time by the UNHCR leaders. Um, we grew to around 50 in 2020. Um, uh, you know, we were able to uh, reskill and you know, get all of them jobs. And then uh, we scaled to uh, almost 1,000 uh, people in 2021, which was our best year so far. Um, but 2022, our aim is to grow to 10,000 people across seven different camps, um, uh, mostly in Africa. Um, and what do we do uh, with these uh, 1,000 plus refugees? We deliver six services. We used to do only the first three, marketing, selling, and recruiting. These were the three services that uh, we were providing through the refugee graduates that we've been training. But recently, in the last six months or so, we've, because we started growing from you know, 10 to 50 to 100 to 1,000, uh, we said, what if we put, instead of one person to do marketing, if we put 100 people to do marketing, can it be any different? So we started putting, you know, 10, 20, 30, 100 people to do one job, 
right? So that's what is called hyperscaling, uh, search engine optimization, and also fundraising. So these are the six broad services that we do. And we do this across these six different platforms. In fact, Amazon is the latest one that we have included. Before that, we used to be on LinkedIn, Instagram, all these different platforms is where we do our work. We have four different models, uh, how we engage with our clients. The first two models are for individuals. Let's say an individual client wants to hire us for their personal branding, we charge them $200. Uh, let's say if an individual uh, person um, want to build a pipeline, a pipeline of, let's say, um, either candidates for recruitment or a pipeline of deals for, you know, closing some sales, uh, then we charge, you know, $300 a month. Uh, for startups, uh, basically, you know, if somebody wants to hire some 10 to 20 people to do a big job, uh, such as validating their product. So somebody has got a phenomenal idea. They want to validate that idea across 25 countries in one month. So we can deploy a team of 25 people, go to 25 countries, talk about these products to 20, you know, let's say uh, 20,000 people and come back to the startup founder and say, look, your product is working in five. It's not working in the remaining 20. Right? We, we charge $6,000 per month for doing this kind of a job, which we call the startup model. The scale up model is nothing but once the startup model begins to deliver results, instead of working with 10, 20 people, we can work with 100, 200 people. There's no other difference. It's exactly the same. Once the, math, the formula is, you know, uh, delivers value, then we, you know, explode it to. Uh, so I, I'm just going to, I can pause here um, and, um, you know, uh, we can, I can take, uh, you know, questions because uh, it's really important to 